Mycosporin-like amino acid, Wikipedia article audio. Mycosporin-like amino acids are small secondary metabolites produced by organisms that live in environments with high volumes of sunlight, usually marine environments. The exact number of compounds within this class of natural products is yet to be determined, since they have only relatively recently been discovered and novel molecular species are constantly being discovered, however, to date their number is around 30. They are commonly described as microbial sunscreens although their function is believed not to be limited to sun protection. Background Chemistry Examples Functions Ultraviolet light responses Protection from UV radiation Protection from oxidative damage Accessory pigments in photosynthesis Photoreceptors Environmental stress responses Salt stress Desiccation stress Thermal stress Moss are widespread in the microbial world and have been reported in many microorganisms including heterotrophic bacteria, cyanobacteria, microalgae, Ascomycetus and Basidiomycetes fungi, as well as some multicellular organisms such as macroalgae and marine animals. Most research done on moss is on their light-absorbing and radiation-protecting properties. The first thorough description of moss was done in cyanobacteria living in a high UV radiation environment. The major unifying characteristic among all moss is UV light absorption. All moss absorb UV light that can be destructive to biological molecules. Though most MA research is done on their photoprotective capabilities, they are also considered to be multifunctional secondary metabolites that have many cellular functions. MOS are effective antioxidant molecules and are able to stabilize free radicals within their ring structure. In addition to protecting cells from mutation via UV radiation and free radicals, MOS are able to boost cellular tolerance to desiccation, salt stress, and heat stress. Mycosporin-like amino acids are rather small molecules. The structures of over 30 MOS have been resolved and all contain a central cyclohexanone or cyclohexanamine ring and a wide variety of substitutions. The ring structure is thought to absorb UV light and accommodate free radicals. All MOS absorb ultraviolet wavelengths typically between 310 and 362 nm. They are considered to be amongst the strongest natural absorbers of UV radiation. It is this light-absorbing property that allows MOS to protect cells from the harmful UVB and UVA components of sunlight. Biosynthetic pathways of MOS depend on the specific MA molecule and the organism that is producing it. These biosynthetic pathways often share common enzymes and metabolic intermediates with pathways of the primary metabolism. An example is the shikimate pathway that is classically used to produce the aromatic amino acids, with many intermediates and enzymes from this pathway utilized in MA biosynthesis. Ultraviolet UVA and UVB radiation is harmful to living systems. An important tool used to deal with UV exposure is the biosynthesis of small molecule sunscreens. MOS have been implicated in UV radiation protection. The genetic basis for this implication comes from the observed induction of MOS synthesis when organisms are exposed to UV radiation. This has been observed in aquatic yeasts, cyanobacteria, marine dinoflagellates, and some Antarctic diatoms. When moss absorb UV light the energy is dissipated as heat. UVB photoreceptors have been identified in cyanobacteria as the molecules responsible for the UV light-induced responses, 
including synthesis of moss. An ma known as polythine, derived from seaweed, has been found to protect human skin cells from UV radiation even in low concentrations. Moss, in addition to their environmental benefits, appear to be multifunctional photoprotective compounds, says Dr. Carl Lawrence, lead author of a paper on the research. They work through the direct absorption of UVR photons, much like the synthetic filters. They also act as potent antioxidants, which is an important property as exposure to solar radiation induces high levels of oxidative stress, and this is something not seen in synthetic filters. Some moss protects cells from reactive oxygen species. Reactive oxygen species can be created during photosynthesis, further supporting the idea that moss provide protection from UV light. Mycosporin glycin is a moss that provides antioxidant protection even before oxidative stress response genes and antioxidant enzymes are induced. Ma glycin is able to quench singlet oxygen and hydroxyl radicals very quickly and efficiently. Some oceanic microbial ecosystems are exposed to high concentrations of oxygen and intense light, these conditions are likely to generate high levels of reactive oxygen species. In these ecosystems, Marich cyanobacteria may be providing antioxidant activity. Moss are able to absorb UV light. A study published in 1976 demonstrated that an increase in MA content was associated with an increase in photosynthetic respiration. Further studies done in marine cyanobacteria showed that the MA synthesized in response to UVB correlated with an increase in photosynthetic pigments. Though not absolute proof, these findings do implicate MA as accessory pigments to photosynthesis. The eyes for the mantis shrimp contain four different kinds of mycosporin-like amino acids as filters, which combined with two different visual pigments assist the eye to detect six different bands of ultraviolet light. Three of the filter moss are identified with porphyra 334, mycosporin GLY, and gagesol. Osmotic stress is defined as difficulty maintaining proper fluids in the cell within a hypertonic or hypotonic environment. Moss accumulate within a cell's cytoplasm and contribute to the osmotic pressure within a cell, thus relieving pressure from salt stress in a hypertonic environment. As evidence of this, moss are seldom found in large quantities in cyanobacteria living in freshwater environments. However, in saline and hypertonic environments, cyanobacteria often contain high concentrations of moss. The same phenomenon was noted for some halo-tolerant fungi. But, the concentration of moss within cyanobacteria living in hypersaline environments is far from the amount required to balance the salinity. Therefore, Additional osmotic solutes must be present as well. Desiccation stress is defined as conditions where water becomes the growth limiting factor. Moss have been reportedly found in high concentrations in many microorganisms exposed to drought stress. Particularly cyanobacteria species that are exposed to desiccation, UV radiation, and oxidation stress have been shown to possess moss in an extracellular matrix. However it has been shown that moss do not provide sufficient protection against high doses of UV radiation. Thermal stress is defined as temperatures lethal or inhibitory towards growth. MA concentrations have been shown to be upregulated when an organism is under thermal stress. Multipurpose moss could also be compatible solutes under freezing conditions, because a high incidence of MA producing organisms have been reported in cold aquatic environments.